So we are have these shades that went with these lamps that were covered in tar. One's clean, you can see, the other is not. So we're gonna see how to clean shades with um, tar. So the one lamp we did with a mixture of Dawn soap and vinegar in a spray bottle. And that's what we're gonna start to try with the shades to see if we can get them clean. I'm gonna spray them here, let them soak for a little bit and hose them off in the shower. Hopefully it'll work, we'll see. So we're gonna take this. This is the first one we're gonna do. Sorry about that. And we're gonna just spray it really, really well. And then I'll scrub it with a sponge and hose it off in the shower, hoping it will make a difference. But I'm gonna, I figure if I soak it really well with the soap, maybe it'll come clean because you know what? It can't hurt and new shades cost a fortune. So we'll see if this will do the job. If not, I will get new shades. So can't hurt to try to clean them and see if it will work. They are covered in tar and probably soot but we're gonna give it a good old college try and cleaning them. And um, we'll see if it'll work and see if we can get them clean. Um, and I'm gonna leave the other one for comparison to see if this worked. Um, the vinegar does seem to break it down a little bit. I guess I should have started from the seam so I could saw where I started from. And then I'm gonna scrub a bit. But um, I'll be back, let me just keep on spraying. And then um, we're gonna let it set for a minute and then we're gonna scrub it. So let's see if it will work, if it will get the job done. The, the disgusting tobacco is starting to move. So we'll see in a minute or two. I'm gonna let it keep on going. I might soak it again a few times. I might. Okay, so the, the vinegar and Dawn that worked so well on the lamps did not really work on the shade. So I amped it up a notch. I poured some of this in an empty container of the Clorox, added hot water, sprayed it all over the lampshade. Now, I will tell you, this is a fabric lampshade. You can hear that with plastic. So I it can handle a little more. And so I scrubbed it. I scrubbed it all into there and scrubbed it around the edges. I mean, there's still some marks and I'm gonna rinse it off now. It's the bleach is sitting on it. So I haven't rinsed it yet, but I have been scrubbing it where it's like a little more yucky. So hopefully, this will all come off. We will see in a minute. Okay, let me rinse off with the hose on my thing. And um, and I do wanna remind you that I am actually redoing my kitchen, so I'm not too concerned about the bleach all over because they're gutting it in the next few days. Thanks. Okay, so the result is after rinsing it down with my little hose, it does definitely look better. There is some more stains that you can see here, in here. Um, you have to be careful with the bleach because it does pick up the fabric a little bit on um, the plastic coated fabric, as you can see. There was one spot where I saw it. Let me see if I can see it. Uh, like right here, where the fabric's a little weaker. So we just wanna make sure, you know, that's why I wanted to rinse it off and not leave it sitting too long. So I'm gonna try to get these last couple stains out maybe some of the vinegar water instead and see if they'll lighten up a little more. Okay, so I've decided to do the bleach one more time to give it a try. The watered down, um, this chlorine watered down in a bleach container. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for about five more minutes. I think scrubbing it with a sponge is what's affecting the fabric. So I'm gonna stay away from the sponge this time and just give it a few more minutes to bleach up and um, hopefully it will come out white. I just hate to spend it on this thing. So we'll, I'll show you in a minute, and then after that I might give There's a definite difference, I think, between the two. Um, the shade might not be ideal, like I could probably 
um, I was worried about overworking it and making it look, um, you know, making the actual fabric of the shade come across. But it's definitely cleaner than it was. It will be fine in our bedroom. And I think the, the base, I spray painted the base and I spray painted the inside um, and the finial and everything just looks really good. Um, the lampshade's not ideal, but it's $70 each for the lampshade and I paid paid about $47 for the actual, um, both the pair. So, you know, um, once I redo the other one, I think they're, they're both going to be great and they're going to look great in our room. And that is my redo of the mid-century lamps that are covered in smokers tar. Smokers, smoke tar. It was gross. They stank. The one doesn't stink anymore. The other one will be better tonight. Yeah. And they're actually, they're both identical. It's just I didn't have them turned.